Hey, jab it up, jab it up, jab it up, jab it up. Hey, testing, jab it up. testing. Hey, bitch. All right, hey. I say, <laughs> are we ready? Jab it up. Yeah, I'm me. ready. I said, are we ready? I'm ready, what's up? You know, we was born ready, I think, huh? I said, are you ready? Okay, are you ready? Uh, I was born ready. Are you ready? Because I don't care if y'all are ready. I'm, I'm good, ready. I'm ready, let's Welcome do it. Welcome back to the podcast of all podcasts, y'all. It's your boy Prince, and today, I got some special guests with me, you feel me? You know, I got the homie, the homie of all homies, the reals nigga out, real nigga noble. <laughs> This man right here is a very special man right here. You know what I'm saying? I know this man personally. I think I've known him for like three years now, right? Going on both. Actor, producer, director, comedian, the homie G Wayne. How you feeling, man? What it is, my boy. I'm glad to have you here, my guy. I appreciate it. I'm glad to have you here, man. And um, it's a pleasure to have you all here because y'all can meet anywhere in the world right now. But y'all here. So... Like I like to do, uh, how y'all feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm good, man. I'm chilling. How about you, Nene? Every day is a new blessing, you see? Yes, sir. Praise God. <laughs> I'm to stay COVID free, you heard? Praise it's God. It's Sunday. Take it. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. How you feeling, Noble? I feel good. I'm high. High as hell. <laughs> You're, high? Yeah. You're high? That's what's up. Extremely. That's what's up. Yeah, how I'm you chilling. feeling over there? She's good, all right, we got uh, Jesus woman in the house, you know what I'm saying? Say what up, Patsy in the building. You know what I'm saying, shout out to Patsy, you feel me? But uh, yeah, welcome to this uh, podcast, this is episode 22, y'all, and I'm so glad to have y'all here, you know what I'm saying? And today, y'all, we're going to be dropping some gems, straight up, straight up. I don't know if y'all know this guy, but this guy right here, this guy is almost a mentor to me. Uh, he's a mentor to a lot of people. He's put a lot of people on. I, I believe it's good karma, that's the reason why he's so blessed right now, and uh this is going to be about G. Wayne today, y'all. We really want to know because we are all creators in this house. You know, we're uh, looking for, um, I guess, the path of success and creating our own, our own lane. And what I know of you, my guy, mm-hmm. you have your uh, your own lane right now. You have your own destiny in your own hands, man. How does that feel? I mean, it feels good. We, um, we blessed, man. I'm just soaking it all in right now to be honest and, and you know where I came from because we started from the bottom straight up straight you up know. brick house brick bottom. house days that's what's that up that was y'all. even the bottom though that was that, that was not the bottom bro. That it was wasn't but that's how some people looked at us though fuck that you know what it is <laughs> we ain't gonna say no names but they know what it is now right 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 <laughs> right man and you know I know you guys know Noble does our creation too and uh Noble does and Nini, she does it as well. She's been part of our skits and whatnot, so she's part of this lane. So, man, um, what's going on with your success right now? Like, how do you feel? Like, is, how how are you taking it in? Man, you want me to be honest, man? Success almost killed me, man. Really? Oh yeah, it's it's um it's a blessing and it's a curse at the same time. It's just you got to be ready for it, and sometimes you may not be ready for it, and it becomes overwhelming. And I understand now when they say, uh, you know, what happens in God's time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because now, is this a new list that I'm hearing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, your boy got that little ice. Going right now. I got ice. This man has a grill. You know, this is how successful this man is, been, y'all. He's got a grill. A grill, hey, y'all. Success don't make you have no grill, no, man. We, we talking about equity. Hey, I know this nigga for four years, y'all. Four years. And I ain't never, ever seen him have a grill. All right, you I know two I, other niggas who got grill. Hey, I barbecued in the back with a grill. What you talking about? <laughs> oh, there you go. You got the joke. You got your, I told you it's convenient, but hey. Uh, anyway, so, so back to what you were saying. <laughs> Hilarious, but um, yeah, man, you know, I um, you just got to know how to um, to take it, bro, and how to pace yourself because I end up having you know almost going into cardiac arrest. A lot of people don't know that I was just kept going if somebody called me i'm there i'm there i'm doing mine and i just need to sit my ass down somewhere mind you what i told y'all in the beginning this man is working this man uh i don't even want to put your business out there like that but i'm, I'm okay you shot two movies this year right yeah, yeah yeah uh during this whole quarantine and i mean 
with his rise, I mean, I'll, anytime I look at this nigga's story, he's always shooting. Always shooting. So it's like, bro, how do you have time to, like, rest for yourself and for your lady? You know what I'm saying? Like, I bet it's kind of crazy, you know what Oh, I'm yeah. Saying? You ask her right over there. It's hard as hell, yeah, huh? Yeah, and, like, I can <laughs> only imagine, like, dude, I'm... You know, younger than you, even though you look. Oh, no, you're not close to my age. Maybe it is age. But I look young, <laughs> goddamn. Right there, no. I look really young, goddamn. <laughs> I look damn near too. You know what I mean? But, huh? You look I young look, too. Yeah. You look young too. Yeah. We all look young. That's good. Yeah, that's the jeans in there. Black don't crack. You know black I mean? don't crack. Um, whatever this is. Yeah. Not good. Well, you, you black that's too, though. Everybody thing. got black in them. That's what they say. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. You about. 35? 22. 22. I said 22. 30? No, you, you, can't, you don't count. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I um, mean. I got to go somewhere. This is for like. I'm dead. Nobody ever asks a woman like. Oh, they age. Man. They you wait. Just don't, <laughs> you're just she's not, you just she's don't not, go with it. She's not okay with it. We just right into the This is what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, back to what you were saying. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, about you, uh, you know, oh, what I was saying actually. Saying, <laughs> you've been working. No, no. no, so actually, what I was saying is you've been we actually, you've been actually working really hard. You know what I'm saying? You've been really like doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, like you did, you said you almost got a heart attack, correct? Yeah, I was going to cardiac arrest. So you ain't rest. I, yeah, I ain't rest, and I woke up at 3 a.m. in the morning, spazzing out, thought I was an incredible hawk. I had a big vein pulsating out, and she spazzed out and took me in, and they were like, oh, you know. He's going on the cardiac arrest. We got to get him in there, you know. He might not made it out of there. I'm like, what? It would have been like that. So now your doctor told you, like, what's going on? He like, said, I it's need to chill. Down? It's too much stress in here with all the x-rays they done on me and this, the scanning and whatnot. He said, um, you're not 20. You may look 20, <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> Sit your black ass down. I, I, said, I feel right. that. There's nothing, no underlining health issue. It's just you really need to rest. Need to rest, man. I ain't got no health issues. So I'm what healthy. have you been doing to, like, you know, take precautions on that? Well, to be honest, try not to argue. Shout out to over there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into that. We, <laughs> you know, try gonna not to argue. Episode, this is going to be a really good episode, y'all. Why tell you the first point when it comes to, like, I almost had a car in like, you know? Like, <laughs> hey, right, right. <laughs> Well, you know, who I, do you come home to? I, I I start pacing myself like I got a schedule now. You know, this day I'm have off. This day I'm do just this. This day I'm a shoot. This day we just chilling. Let's go to Venice Beach. That's it. Mm, so you know, you have to, you're on a schedule. Now. I'm on a schedule, man. Yeah, I can't awesome. just be, you know, what I'm saying going like when you hit me up since seven. I said, hold on, let me check the schedule. Yeah, I'm free. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas I know now, like anytime I hit them up, be like, let me check my schedule. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It ain't that serious, but, Shoot, but it serious. is that serious. <laughs> it I is. It is. No, but I, I feel that. You know what I'm saying. Everybody has that much free time. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I really wish I could be like working as much as you, which I can. I just, it's really up to you at the end of the day, correct? To correct. Put, create your own stuff, correct? Cause correct. Because think about it. From what I know, from what I seen of your come up, y'all, he was at. 60k maybe when I met you maybe 40k maybe if I think it was like 40 okay you're at 40k 40. and you know he invited like a lot of people you know talented people but not you know people who had like big following and whatnot he used to have them come to his house and like you know shoot skits and like learn and he'll like tell him like yo maybe you should do this maybe you should do that you know what I'm saying so facts with that being said like what I saw your come was you were working with three big comedians or creators at mm-hmm. the time and I think you're part of like their biggest skits. The homie, Jai. Your homie, actually. Shout out to Big Jai. Big Jai. Big Jai, you feel me? To the max. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, your, what was the skit called? The Lesbian Homie. The Lesbian Homie. Mm-hmm. What, what was your name in that? Uh, I was um, Ty. Like, I actually <laughs> forgot my real name because people would come up to me like, hey, yo, Ty. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking Ty, to? Ty, all right. And then you're working with Jahan. Yeah. John Jones and... Um, you hitting that. You hitting that, which you were playing. What's his name? Ty, again. Which is crazy. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. He got it from him. Say, you going to be Ty again. <laughs> All right. And then on top of that, you're working with Tyree in Living With My Ex Skit. And you were... All, in all three of those skits, man, mm-hmm. you were pretty much that guy. You were an asset to those skits. And I think that contribute to like who you are now and that you're an asset to of yourself. Like, you're in your own lane. Like, people think... Jai or John, they think G Wayne. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As your own person. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. As if they think of me, they only think of me like probably like under some <laughs> Not even that. But anyway, but you feel what I'm saying? So with that I being said, it. do you feel like it was like good karma or was it just like matter of time for you? Because like was niggas like were they even fucking with your shit when you're uploading? I'm gonna keep it one hundred right now with y'all. Let's okay. Do it. Before I, I, I became Before I came G yeah. Wayne, I was first the black Peter Pan. Mm. A lot of people didn't know that. And then I became Benjamin Button. Because, you know, I age different, I age I go backwards. In other words, I'm going right down. I'm not capping. You can <laughs> scroll all the way down to the IG um, my first videos, you'll see my name, Black Peter Pan. A lot of people don't know that. What, what you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm gonna tell y'all stuff Black that y'all don't know. Man, what the fuck? Because he never he never got old. He never aged. And people mm-hmm. when they see me, they're like, Man, you still look the same. Oh, I get you it. Get what I I'm saying? I get it. I get it. Yeah, right. I get exactly. it. I get it. No, that's dope. That's dope. So yeah, man, that's the, I came out with that, and um, Ja was messing with me. Um, who else? Um, John, he was messing with me too. Tyree, he was, but I didn't know him like that, so it was never. I live so far away, so we never had that time. Yeah, that's right. Actually, yeah, you did live far away. This nigga used to live, I don't know, like an hour, two hours, an hour and a half away, two an hours, hour, yeah. an hour and a half away, y'all. And then drive like every weekend over here to <laughs> at the brick house and yep. like do this thing. Knock about six skits out yeah, on a Saturday. Yeah, had to. And let me tell y'all, the pros, niggas, I, I, what I used to hear, niggas was knocking out like six skits a day. If you're up there, like, what's his name, uh, CT? Yep, Clayton Thomas. That nigga, when I heard at the sketch house, them niggas, he used to come there, I want you, 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 and knock out like six yep. skits. Yep, yep. In a Facts. day. If you really wanted to be on the fucking top back in the day, you had to like upload every fucking day, which mm-hmm. is much more easier. Mm-hmm. But for you now, how would you feel? Like, were they like fucking with your shit? Or back then, um, a lot of heavy hitters wasn't, but those three were. But I could never be here because I could only come down the weekend, a Saturday, and it was always shooting like Tuesdays and Thursdays, mm-hmm. almost the same how it is during the week now. Right. So. It wasn't that I don't think they was messing with me. I just didn't have time. Just so happened, God bless me, and I got fired from. Um, shout out to Arvado slash Microsoft. If y'all see this, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting laid off or whatever. In 2018 came down and I was able to link and collab, and everybody's like, "Oh, you live down here now? Mm-hmm. Well, let's link." And I started linking. It became easier, and, and, and Big Job was like, "Hey, man." I got this character for you. You need to hop on YouTube, by the way, and start putting your stuff on there because they're paying. Now, was this before? Now, I remember you told me um, you're not. Um, you, you took. The, you, you said you're not living with your kids now. Yeah, 2018. That was that was then. That was then. Right, right before. Yeah. So were you like kind of like, like what were you thinking? Like I was thinking, oh shit, bro, what am I do? And then I'm I'm fighting custody with my kids. You know, she's trying to get them, and I was like, well, shoot. Maybe I'll just let them go so I can do my thing. Because that's what I did. I kept the kids all these years and let her go to school to do what she needed to do to be successful. Right. You know, so I was like, well, maybe this is my time. And I let them go. And then here it is. It's the best thing I've done. Not to say that, you know, it was the best thing and the hardest thing to do because I really miss my kids. Talk about sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, I'm fighting to get them back now, you know. <laughs> Dang. Which is hard, bro. But in this type in this type of lane, I feel like you have to make sacrifices or oh yeah, make, do it because you can't do this shit eighty percent or fifty percent. You have to, and not like the biblical sacrifice. I mean, like sacrificing like your time and things you have to give up. You mm-hmm. feel me? You have to make room. You can't. There's only so much time in a day that you can do certain things, and you have to like you have to figure it out. You feel me? So with that being said, like when you did that, and you started making these moves did you feel like it was going like did you feel like I felt I made the right decision right and I felt that my kids knew I made the right decision because they see the difference of how happy I am and how I'm able to provide more and be there at the same time because Microsoft was paying me great money but I I couldn't enjoy it I didn't enjoy life I was there 24-7 I didn't. I and couldn't go to the kids' practices, great, right. and and then I yeah. Then I would have to fly, come down here Saturday. My kids were like, oh man, but you know, I did all that, man. So, with that being said, man, I think I made the right decision. I know I made the right decision, and my kids, they're happy. You know, as long they're as they're happy. Right? Shoot, I got a twenty-two-year-old. Um, 
Uh, a 16 year old and a 12 year old. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Yep. I and, and shoot, like actually, that. I got a, another one. I got a 70 year old. <laughs> so, bam. Man, and this nigga's crazy skits, man. So, I like, yep. to me, I feel like you're making me look really fucking bad because you have more. <laughs> I feel like I have like issues and shit. Like, man, like, I can't do this. I can't do that. Nigga, you have. <laughs> A lot more on your table, on your plate right now, and you're able to get it done. So it's like, dang, that's motivating, really. You know what I'm saying? That's really motivating. I don't know about for you or anybody, but for me, I feel like, dang, dude, I can be doing way more. So when you're, uh, and not to throw it in there, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I bet. I bet. So and you know, uh, well, we were talking about the whole, um, you're able to make more money now. When did you start seeing money? Hmm. Let me see. So we start in 2018. I saw money that summer fast, bro, like in three months because I came out with my L.A. hood stories and they just soaked that up and it just blew up. And once I got, um, what's it, uh, monetized on YouTube, Mm -hmm. most people have to wait a couple months to see revenue. Mine was waiting for it. It was about a a couple stacks. I was like, huh? Joe, hey, you nigga, I love you nigga. Thank you. That's how it was for me. But I see a couple of homies. It's not like that for everybody. So it's all about, like I said, you just got to have something that, that boom, hits. Right. Once it hits, you on, bro. And but then you got to keep it. Now it's so different. I mean, with Instagram and YouTube and mm-hmm. Facebook, it's like, well, I mean, even with TikTok, I mean, I think it's much more easier to go and borrow on TikTok. But I mean, on the YouTube aspect to get paid and actually see revenue, that's hard. Yeah. I feel like, and we know certain people right now. I'm gonna say her name, Mila, who gained fucking four hundred thousand. I think she's four hundred thousand uh, subscribers now. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even understand. So what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Because you're grinding, okay. And, and I know you. I feel like <laughs> Mila's my girl, bro. We gonna keep it all the way live no, right she's now. My, no, she's you my know, girl. Mila. Mila is a person that it's like. You can't hate her, bro, you because she don't give a fuck. She going to do what she going to do and get to how she want to get to it, and that's just the way she going to do it. And I had to learn that with Mila when I was trying to coach Mila and tell her, like, don't do certain things, but that's just Mila. And that got her, what, 40 million um, views on YouTube. And that's how she soaked up all that because it went did, viral. One thing I can say about her, dude, she always worked. She was always she was already buying like fucking like places to rent out to shit. Yeah, yeah. She was getting them Airbnbs. And, already. And, and, hey, and nobody was messing with her. And she was like, you know what? Forget everybody. I'm gonna get my own team. Yeah, that's why like I commend her. I'm sorry. That's why I, I don't get mad if people don't put me in shit or like even fuck with me like that because Mila didn't fuck with me. Like she did it on her own. If y'all don't know, shout out to Mila Don. I'm gonna get her on. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, real shit. I've always said she was gonna be like somebody because her work ethic, her grind is like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. crazy. Um, even with you. So now with you doing your LA hood stories, like how do you get the inspiration for that? Your style because. When I think about Jai, Jai has a joke within his, like, in his yeah. skits, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a run-on joke. Uh, Tyree, it's got kind of goofiness. In right, sense, right. But it's a scene. But it's just sometimes a joke. It gets serious sometimes, yeah. in and out, yeah. And Jahan, he, he be right on. That nigga be, I, it's hard to describe his right. He writes like a show, pretty much, a damn near yeah. show. Um, but for you... How do you describe your uh, content creating? Mine's now. For, for now. For now, it's different. It's not. It's not from back when. Yeah. Oh, the, go, the goofiness now. is out. I don't. I don't. We not. We it's actually not got money. like. No, it ain't the money. It's 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 the um what they want to see, and I'm an actor first before I'm not even. I don't even consider myself a comedian. I consider myself an entertainer because I'm an actor because I've been right. doing this since I was a kid. Um, I cut off the goofiness, and and well, Ja told me to. And that was the formula for YouTube. And it worked. So I just stuck with it. So that's how I said, you know what? I'm going to create L.A. Hood Stories, which I already did. But I took the goofiness out of L.A. Hood Stories and made it serious. And I said, well, I got, you know, I'm known. So I'm going to go to the hood and shoot some real shit with some real niggas. I've seen that. So what would you consider, like, goofiness? Like, take taking the goofiness The goofiness. Out, explain, <sighs> explain that to viewers and others to, like, understand what is the goofiness. Because... They want. They think. What, what do you mean? Like I, I gotta mm-hmm. act funny. Right. Like, you, you gotta, gotta act. I gotta, I gotta it's, be funny. It's, it's more funny 
if it's just natural and you're not even trying to be funny. Right. You know, you ever watch something be like, oh man, he doing too much. He's trying to be funny. Right. That's the goofiness. Right. That when I, I slip and I just fall over the, the chair over here and knock that over and go way over there on the wall and go, Ugh. that's the goofiness. I you cut know out. What's crazy? You know what's so crazy <laughs> about that? Martin was the biggest, goofiest biggest nigga out there. That comedy worked at that, that, that time. At exactly. That time. It's strange. Wow, you could not do that shit. Mm-mm. You really could, you, you can't really do this like us niggas. You can bring it back. Shoot. Would it work? Right, right. You can make it work. I don't know. You just gotta find an audience. There's an audience for everything. That's what I did. Figure that out. There's an audience for everything. You and what do you figure your audience is? Hood niggas. Hood niggas. That's that's because I create like not so much well LA hood stories, hood shit, and then you got first day investments. Right. So that's a different side of me to where it's some of my reality that I've dealt with, and then some of my fantasy that I wanted to do. Mm. You know, with 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 life. So that's the difference between me writing L.A. hood stories, hood shit, versus me dating somebody and and being a player and, and getting caught up like oh shit. So first, <laughs> speaking of being a player, first day's investment. <laughs> if y'all don't know, that's one of you, that's like your second biggest skit, right? Yeah. The series yeah. that you've done. You're like season two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, was it inspir? Oh wait, I know this, right? <laughs> I was inspired by um. <laughs> I do. Shout well, out to Cali. You know, she went on a little date. Inspired by Callie, we had to talk about it, and she told me a little what happened, and I was like, "Females do that shit all the time, bro. Y'all ain't shit." Explain it though. Explain the the context of it. Well, what happened? We were talking, and um, she went on a date, you know, and and she was talking about how she just met this guy, but she was going to go see somebody else, somebody that she knew well. Right. So I'm like, "Man, y'all this ain't shit. Y'all let this nigga trick off on you, and and now you gonna go what with this nigga? I'm gonna do a skit on that." And that's how I start. Interesting. And now you're season two. Yeah, I just wrote a story behind it. That's what I like. Difference between IG and um, YouTube. I'm a storyteller Fact. versus a, a comedian. I like to tell stories. What's that? Uh, I mean, what he said. Uh, continue what you were saying, though. I got it. Yeah, that was it. I was done. <laughs> oh well. Um, <laughs> no. So wait. So explain the context behind. Like, all right. So you're on season two now. Mm-hmm. That was just from one date, though. So how are you on season two now? Because I, I end up getting uh, or thinking and saying, you know what? Why don't I just create a story about my dates? So all the all those are like girls you dated in situations? Some of them, like not that? all of them. And some of them was fantasy. Fantasy. Mm. Back in the day, not current. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> out of all the people you've worked with, who's one of your favorites? My favorite? I mean, I like everybody. There's nobody that I, I don't like. But the, the easiest? I hate to say this. John. John. Why? Because every time I'm on John's set, it's fun. It's never, oh, man, are we almost done? How much longer? You know you know how that be when you're right. on a set that you like, man, it's all right, man. It's never like that. Right. Or it hasn't been like that, shooting the movie and, and, verse, and the skit with him. Y'all hear that, right? The thing is that shot a movie. Oh yeah, two well, movies. Uh-huh. This whole fucking quarantine. <laughs> yeah, Go back to what you were saying. But yeah, I, I think that I have the most fun with John. John, and of of course the homies. Uh, you know, that's it. No, I have a question now. Listen to this. So, Jai, does Jai write his shit? Mm-hmm. He writes his shit. I mm-hmm. thought you told me uh, he has you like, oh, say this. But well, he, he writes it. Word. He writes it. It ain't like he passing out no scripts. Yeah. Yeah. He he writes it and he'll say, "Do you? This is what I want out of you." Be no. that. Or sometimes you'll tell me like, nah, nah, say this. No, is that pressure for you? No. Like, do you feel like that's like pressure? Like, all right, you know, you gotta say this and I remember that. Just because you gotta put me on the spot when I shot. I was like, all right, dude, you gotta do this. I'm like, nigga, we gotta like see, rehearse it a couple. See, of this is easy for me. I've been doing this since I was a kid. That's the difference. I, this is no. Nothing. It could be easy for me too. If but I gotta like if I've never worked with you, like let me fill the chemistry out. And see oh, how you like you are. like you know? What okay, saying? you're not I, comfortable I, yet. You know what I'm saying? I need to make sure like I understand like. Hey, 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 I got one for you. Shout out to CT, it's Clayton Thomas. When I first worked with him, I was nervous because really? it was different. He tell you a whole, the whole script and you got eight people in the room and you going to say this blah, 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 and then you going to say that. I'm like, okay, I'm going to say that. And then after she said that, then you say, hold on, nigga, let me write this down. Damn. But he remembers it. Could but you we, imagine that? We don't remember yeah, it. Yeah, it's going over scripts. I know, but could you imagine like working with like those top large people and they're like, nigga, you got to say this and that's it. You go over it once and you just all right. Y'all about to shoot. 
That's well, it. Yeah, <laughs> you better. And, I, and, he, yeah. and he filming with the camera, though. So, you don't, it's like, come on, bro. This is a one take. You can't, come on now. We got to start over. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, that, dude. So, that's what, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's levels to this shit. And, yeah. like, you know, I think when you're ready, God will bless you, you know, at that time. Mm -hmm. And I think it only makes right and sense for you to be working with the people that you are working with and that you did work with because, you know, you were ready. You know what I'm saying? It's like what Drake said. Like, right. Right. Um, Working with CT, I know CT, dude, like, he's very quick with his shit, you know what I'm saying? And he's been on, like, TV and he writes shows, so... It's been behind Martin Lawrence uh, on who, the comedy stand. You said you worked at CP, right? Through CT. Yeah, man, how was that? Funny as hell, bro. I couldn't even... <laughs> I couldn't even talk, bro. When we uh, say action, I was like... I don't man. I mean, hold on, man. You can't keep saying this funny stuff, bro. Everything he said was literally it's funny. Shout out to CP, the comedian. I don't know if y'all know this nigga, but this nigga, he does Reggie Bow and shit. Holy it's like a little weed plant, yes. a little puppet. Bro, this nigga can no. I don't, you, this, what he says, bro, is right. This, you told me about this dude. <laughs> I like, I hung out with him, right? And he was like, "Yeah, dude, like I went to CP, dude. This dude, the most greatest person I ever worked, the funniest." I was like, "Really?" And then like I saw this nigga like on oh, shit, and dude, I was like, <laughs> bro, it's stupid funny, man. And I tell him every time I see him, I'm like, man, I can't believe how funny you are, man. Because you know you don't run across people like that. Like I don't even like stand up, bro. She'll tell you. I'll be like, and everybody be like, oh, that shit funny as fuck, nigga. Ah, nigga, you what? You don't think that shit funny? No, nah, nigga, I ain't much funny, man. But him, shit's funny. I feel that. For me, it's, it's a different comedy. I don't know. No, but you got a question? I had a question. You have a question? I do. Do you? No, I don't. <laughs> no, you just listen to everything. Everybody's just like, no, no, I mean, no one's going to be high as fuck. They take a gym. No, I'm know. chilling because I don't, I, I can relate, but you know, I, you know, I want to say again, congratulations to G Wayne and all the success and stuff like that. Appreciate it. Um, I'm, I can agree with him as far as uh, being. A lot of things don't really make me laugh. A lot of things don't tickle me. I have a very different type of sense of humor, so you know, I can concur. You know, but um, as far as like what you said about the pressure when with when acting and going over lines and scripts and stuff like that, I've done that a lot. I used to do uh, a lot of extra work for Disney Channel and uh, Nickelodeon, like Victoria's, iCarly, Halloween Town, Philly the Future, and stuff like that. So, oh, so you've been on the set? Yeah, before. But as okay. an extra, I was not seen. <laughs> hey, you got paid. You was there. Yeah, yeah that's all that matters, getting paid. Getting that, getting that credibility. Craigslist. That's right. what Craigslist so, was So, um, mm -hmm. you were a little stressed out now. So, with you and Karina, you know, um, you have the ladies in your skits, and I have the ladies in my skit, and I know what it's like. Dating someone while <laughs> you're trying to create, it can be kind of tough. Oh yeah, because your lady is going to think other things, you know, because she sees the good acting that y'all are doing. Thank you. Like <laughs> 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 Man, that looked too goddamn real. You know what I'm saying? It looks too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it makes the mind wonder. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. From the other source. It doesn't matter. You can be boy, or female. It doesn't matter. So, what that means saying, like, how do you, like, work that out with your significant other? Well, because I know mm. I had issues. My girl did not, she well, wanted to meet every girl, which she couldn't. <laughs> she couldn't because she was working while shooting, so there's no possible <laughs> way she could have done that. And then, two, um, like, I, I, like, she, she was, she was just very insecure. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, for me, it was very tough. She just didn't understand. She wasn't even in the same lane. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't even in the same room mm -hmm, as me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, in that type of crap. Mm -hmm. So, how, how, how does it work out for y'all? Ah. I know it's tough, goddamn. Mm. Ah. It's still general, working. That's a general question? Or is this for you? You want to take, take that one first? I know, I, I know you. You want to go hey, I know. Hey, I know you're. I know Mike, don't you, brother? Too. <laughs> how I feel about that? Well, I think that, again, like you said, Prince is insecure. Because especially if you're not in the same, and it, and it goes both male and female. Yeah, male and female. Um, I think that it would be very insecure for you to even want to. If you have nothing to do with this shoot or this skit, why would you want to come other than supporting me? I don't feel like if since we're both grown, you don't need to be monitoring me, and I don't need to be monitoring you. I think that there should be trust. There shouldn't be anything, especially if you knew what I was. Well, is what I said in the car earlier, like. Women and men too want to date women and men <laughs> that want that are famous and then don't 
want the nigga to do things that made him famous anymore. Like, Ooh, what? boy, you just hit something. That don't right make now. no sense Damn, to me. That's, I didn't even think about that. So it's yeah. like, yeah, you gonna date me because I'm a superhero, and then now that I'm with you, you want me to stop saving people? Boy, that don't make no damn, sense. this nigga's dropping gems. Ooh. Fuck it. I don't so. think that's fair. Ooh, like, oh, shit. Talk. Because. Are you that? So that's unfair. So you can't date me because I'm a superhero. No, I said some. In the beginning, yeah, I was like, everybody. Everybody. some people. But see. I'm going to put you on the spot because men like you mm-hmm. do think that way, that every female feels that way. Do I ask to ever come with you on your sex? No. Time out. Ever. How you know what type of men I am? Just because of what you're saying. That doesn't mean anything. Okay. That's, well, a, that's, that's, such a, that's, <laughs> a, that's such a... That's such a... That's my opinion. It was my turn. Right. I let you talk. Okay. So Ooh. I think it's my opinion now that you have Maybe she should sit down. <laughs> you want to give an interview? Yeah, you want to come? Because it's different. Yeah, it's different when you're in that environment. But when you're not... Again, I didn't pick him. I knew nothing about this world. Nothing he came and approached me. Interesting. Well, so, I'm going to tell you what it is. Once you finish. It. We did talk about Yo. it. Yeah, give me that mic, brother. Let me check this out. Give me that mic, brother. Man, let me check this out. I'm not saying... Do you want... I, and, 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 <laughs> and when it comes to this, it's not so much him that I'm worried about. Interesting. I know what I got. This I hope this mic is... Pick, I hope this, this uh, is four picking years, you up. and we've never dealt with somebody in my DMs, something like that. Okay, whether you want to call it an insecurity of... Maybe I have, damn, that's way too damn close. Damn, you touching her too damn much. Yes. I can understand that. I guess you guys call it an insecurity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I'm speaking just, speak just in general. I, From my perspective, from my from my female that I was dating, I know she was fucking insecure. God damn. Yeah. She, was, she wanted to see girls that she couldn't even see. She was working, God damn. She's like, right. I want to no, eat. But like touching and feeling, that's not, that's, I it's boundaries. Room. It's a boundary level. No, I never yeah. once said that. No, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm you shouldn't be. I your opinion on this. My opinion? Yeah, what do you think? How are you, how, how are you doing with it? Because I'm pretty sure it's tough because I know it's very tough and you're in the same industry where you model and shit and I know your nigga or whoever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to hear her after. Wait, okay, you, so me first or her? All right. Well, me, I'm still dealing with it. I mean, you know, um, it's not easy. Right. But there's boundaries. At first, you know what I'm saying? I, I said the same thing y'all say. Nigga, it's insecurity. I ain't doing nothing. Get off my back. You know what I'm saying? But then I have to look at it as if the shoe was on the other foot. How would I feel? Or right, what would I think? Because right. I'm going to think, because they're not in the business, so they don't know. Right. So that's when I say, okay, well, you can come. You can see how it is. Come check it out. And you'll see what action. Oh, you know, no, no, no. Cut. Yeah, like I was on the phone and shit, you know. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Ain't nobody thinking about not a goddamn thing. So it boils down to, not to cut you off. A comfortability um, issue, if it's not a trust issue, it comes down to who's comfortable. Because it wouldn't necessarily be that you would be wrong. You would just be doing something that somebody doesn't like. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. they don't understand yeah. pretty much in a sense. Now, there, there is issues of, of what she just said where I said that is insecurity. Because there was an issue where she was like, oh, a girl got too close to you. And I'm like, what? We, we, this is a, 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 a skit that pays the fucking bills. Right. And I got, man, I'm like, back up. Because See, she didn't say- touch me. So they to me that's not no disrespect. We ain't humping and doing all this. So she didn't kiss me or nothing. But she was like this close to me, you know. See, I couldn't say that shit when my girl bring that type of shit up to me in the videos because I wasn't getting paid for the shit. So I couldn't bring up that. You feel me? See, but that that's see that's look. Check this out, because that's where it was in the beginning. And I would tell her like, this is what I'm doing to get paid. You know, fall back, ease up. Right. Now the money came, so it's like. <laughs> yeah, y'all stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> so all right. So y'all y'all are still working it out. Yeah. And anything. So and like what you said. So you say you're not worried about him. You're worried about. I mean, there is a chance that you know maybe one day you know he could be that that that. It just Damn, I really want you to just like come over because I don't know if this no, hit you. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's not. I've been around long enough. I I um, know what I mean. Where where. We're together, I've heard. I think got you. So, 9 to 10, it's not him I'm worried about. I feel that. I feel that. And that's my honest truth. I know what I have. You know what I mean? I think the worst for a woman when she is not in the industry, but is dealing with someone in the industry is, like, you got to imagine when you're in darkness some at some point, like, darkness will surround you. 
Like, you cannot just stay the light that you are. Like, at some point, like, it's like when you surround yourself with bad things, the option that you're going to do some bad things is just bigger. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what she means. It's not that she distrusts every woman that he meets at set. It's just there's so many so many opportunities mm -hmm. that he can catch on to. And then mm -hmm. you have, like, a bad moment with your girl. You're going through some shit. And you have a good vibe with some girl on set that you see, like, with three, four, <laughs> three. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Yeah, lightweight, lightweight. It, 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 it could, it could happen. And it's it, just it, a it, 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 it could happen. Quick yeah. Thing, but you can be light on your head and just cut into it. You but know? see, but see, with me, I ain't no cheater, so it wasn't like I was in a relationship at the time, and I would always say that to her, like I ain't never fuck with nobody in the skits. Mm -hmm. But then I, I kind of like low key did when we broke up because mm -hmm. we were vibing. You know what I'm saying? I might not even say that person's name, but we know who it is. You know who it is, and you know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about it afterwards, you know. But yeah, those are issues that come up or have happened. Yeah. No, that's tough. So y'all got a Band-Aid on it, pretty much. Oh, yeah. yeah it's a Band-Aid. Yeah. So with you, <clears throat> do you be having that same issue like with your... Uh... I don't have anyone. Well, you did. See, I mean, and you did date girls, and how did they feel? Because you know, tell me some stuff. I mean, did they, like... How they feel about you working with certain people? When I first started doing skits in 2017, I was in a relationship and I was very insecure. And it, I realized that it ruined opportunities for me. I had shoots with with both, like a lot of people that we were late to because she had to do makeup or it would take long. And I'm very uh, thorough. I like to be thorough. I like to be on time because this is my passion. This is what I want to do. Um, as like years gone by and I'm still doing skits I just learned not to be insecure especially if I'm dating somebody outside of the industry and stuff like that usually I'm the one that don't really approach and stuff like that I've been focused on me but you know I think it's a it's a trust issue like you can't have trust issues and stuff like that don't be with me if you're gonna think I'm gonna cheat your mind is gonna play tricks on you oh, and on you. that's just what like Nene said like if we had a bad day and then you speaking to other dudes, I'm going to look at it like you like that nigga because y'all having a good time and you giving, you putting me in the doghouse in the car. I, you quiet the whole ride here and then we get around people and you talking to them and all that <laughs> shit. Like, I feel some type of way. But that's, I was, I would say, and it's like, oh, so you like that nigga, even though it's not like that, but it's like you're making me think that way. And I don't want to fake the funk. And be like, let's just put on face, and then I just want to handle this shit. I want to handle it. So, how I fix it is just, you know, you communicate, and if that person don't understand, you let it go. Cause it's it's if we're getting older and we're adults. If I'm a cheat, ain't shit you gonna do to you can't do nothing to stop it. I can lie to you and tell you the same shit I've been telling you. You're not gonna believe me, or you are gonna believe me. But if you, what women do, and I'm gonna say women do this. Because they do is they know their inti their y'all intuition is so strong y'all already know what the fuck going on and then y'all be mad at the fact that y'all don't really know. Don't look at me, nigga. No, no, I'm just saying y'all be mad that y'all don't really know. But then when y'all find out that it was the truth, y'all get even more mad when y'all already knew. And I think that's like, I don't think that's cool. Up first, like this, like you know, that's like petting for us, like you know, we get touched on the on the theme and what we know that we get into. Like, but I wouldn't let no woman like as far as boundaries. I would say something, but if they if it's bringing in money, not to say I'm selling my relationship for income, but it's like if you if I'm the one that's making this money doing this, I think you should trust me and follow my lead because I'm not gonna even bring you here to watch me do something like that in front of that wouldn't make no sense. And I ain't talk speaking on y'all situation. Would be so easy to no, but I, I totally agree. No, it's true. So, say what you said again. Huh, I said that if I, I'm not going to bring someone like my girl or my significant other somewhere to see me kiss another girl or be very close with a woman on set, like I wouldn't even put her in that situation. So she should auto, off top know and trust like this isn't, it's, I know it's nothing. Like, right. and, I, mean, if you, if, I don't think that's wrong. I think bringing them is a part of getting them comfortable. I think I do not go because I do not like a lot of scene scenarios. So I do stay back for the most part. I do help him at home, you know what I mean, in other ways to support that. But I try to warm up to it, you know. I to me, but, but, but to me, what I think about it is, like, knowing what he brought to the table, coming to you with, 
like wouldn't you just respect the fact of what he's doing? And and it's not. But then I understand your mindset that something could happen or the opportunities. I understand that. But wouldn't you wouldn't you just understand like this is what he does? You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean, any, is, anyone. It, is it one person in a relationship or is it two now? What do you Can mean? you compromise? It should be, but I'm saying, like, if if I if I come to a relationship I, and I've been doing this for a long, like, if I'm a porn star, you gotta like respect yeah, that. Yeah, that's, yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's that. what you, you choose. Know, trust you know, me, when it comes to that, we've talked about it. We've been over it. Mm-hmm. The shit gets posted at the end of the day, whether I like it or not. Right. Understand that. So regardless <laughs> of what the hell we go back and forth about, what you see, there's a lot I don't like. I feel that. So I shut the hell up, and he'll do what he does. Yeah, you're just Wait. gonna do it. There has been probably one or two that he's trashed because, tell me I'm lying, this shit was inappropriate. To him it wasn't. Yeah, it was making money. But I believe at that point you can't manipulate me to say, get me to think that that's okay. Those are big deals. So these two that I feel. I feel that. And, and, and I guess it goes into compromise. If, you, if, if there's certain things that you don't like, I guess you have to, at the end of the day, have to compromise with that regardless of uh, what I, I mean I guess that's in a relationship you know what I'm saying but for you you know you're a model you do you do music videos correct yeah uh, sometimes I, <laughs> I think you're dating someone weren't you how um, do you I feel was. about that how do you feel about that cause um, I know for a lady dang that's tough mm-hmm. uh, I think like for a woman it's, it's harder like especially because we fight like a lot of empowerment problems <laughs> like mm-hmm. as a woman you always get put in a different light in anything. Like, whatever you guys do, whatever, like, you know, is cool. But if a woman does it, oh, my Hmm. fucking gosh. Like, you know, like, so I got a problem with that because I feel like a strong woman is being, like, hated on that she is a strong woman when she's dating. Because, like, as soon as you date, you should be submissive. You should do this. You should that, that. Like, like everything changes in your life. You can have a whole life. You can have a whole plan. You have a whole setup. And everything, as soon as you get together with a man, should change because you should adapt to his lifestyle. Because what he does has, like, more weight, like, in society. Like, still, to this. Like, I feel like men still think like that to a big part. So when you're really, like, dating, like, a... When you're still, like you know, like someone that is really feeling like he's that dog, he's that, okay. he's that man, yeah, he's that leader man. It's really hard to be in this industry because you have a discussion about everything, how your makeup look like, um, that your hair looks today better than it looks when you dated like with him last night, you know, what? like, um, mm, damn, like how much of your booty this time you see, like oh, like you turned around in that video, like so I saw a part of your booty or whatever, like it's crazy, damn. like. All kinds of stuff. Who you drove home with, who you went there with, who was on set. Like, all kind of shit. Like, I had, like, all kind of experiences. Pulling up shit, like, you know, just finding out where I was. Just seeing, like, videos, like, you know, on other pages. Like, crazy shit. Yeah, that's research. So, <laughs> that's, like... That nigga had time, that's boy. Right. That's the crazy that's part. Right. They do not have time for that shit. But, like, as soon as they, like, be with someone, like, that is... I say, like, this is pretty... And gets like attention because she pretty. The craziness of your personality doesn't count anymore. Gets like gets pretty high. So everything that you be counted on to is just how you look. So everything you do with your looks is a problem. And these days everything goes with looks and it's all pretty like you know we hmm. it's all sexuality. It's like, not real out there. It's not real, but. A man doesn't care in that moment. He's like, oh, my woman's out there. Everybody can see her in that video. Or everybody, like, you know, or you do the skit with the dude and you playing, you playing his girl, huh? So, so you know what I mean? So what's the deal? That goes both ways, though. That goes off like what she's saying. You feel me? Both insecurities. It's all insecurity. You got to be comfortable with it yourself. If you want to date, like... No matter of woman or man, if you want to, like, date a badass bitch or a badass boss dude, like, then you just got to deal with it. Yeah. You cannot choose this side of the bread and this side. Like, you, you, like if you put butter on it, butter's on it. Like, right. you know, just... And I, put butter, put butter like, on it. And this is... This <laughs> just saying. And, and, <laughs> and this is, like, what I used to tell my ex. I felt like she didn't want to see me happy. Because what I used to do, like, making skits, this is what made me happy. When I was depressed and shit, like, this was the only thing that brought me joy. So when she came out of my like came out of nowhere, dude, like she moved from LA, y'all. A year later, came back to LA out of nowhere. 
moved in with me because of the situation and like she started preventing me from like doing my skits like I used to upload every fucking day until this bitch a chick moved in until <laughs> this chick moved in like it all stopped. It stopped your, your whole momentum you know and everything. Saying? You know? And I was trying to mm-hmm. compromise with her to make her feel comfortable that I wasn't doing anything. Like, I wasn't doing anything with these girls. Now, mind you, I did do mm-hmm. spit with these girls at first, but that was because I was single and no one was there. Mm-hmm. Which I had the right, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> but it... Huh? She could have asked none of those questions. But no, she was, though. You feel me? But it's still in your past. It wouldn't even matter. Yeah, you feel me? She wasn't even in the book, the picture. Out the right. fucking state. It but, you know, matter. she came out here and everything, and she really, like, prevented me from, like, doing my shit because I was trying to, like, compromise for her. You know what I'm saying? I, I tried to, like, think, like, not doing skits with girls because that's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. You just tried to <laughs> You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you yeah. tried to, like, yeah. not yeah. think. All right, let me, let me, let me just think outside the box. Right, let me, right, let me, right. Let me, let me think of some Let me be creative. Shit, <laughs> let, me, let me do that. Let me not get a girl, right? Start fucking your mind. Nigga, Fuck it's hard, bro. It really is. So, yeah. like me, I was just like, bro, I, like, I had to, like, make a sacrifice, like, either give her up or, like, do my thing. And and she, and the thing is, she knew what the fuck I was doing. She didn't want to understand. If you don't want to understand, then that is what it is. You feel me? But if you understand, then work it out. But if you don't fucking understand shit, it's not going to work. <laughs> at all. Straight up. Can I say something? Go ahead. I think the solution to that, to all of that, would just be probably, if you just kind of find somebody in your lane... It'll, it'll work out. You know oh, what I'm no. saying? If you I find somebody know. in your lane because, and, and work on, if y'all both on the same page, like y'all gotta be equally yoked in like every aspect of y'all getting along. Nope. You gotta be understand, you gotta understand that if she a model or something, like once y'all reach a certain level of success, y'all can't, y'all gotta start doing stuff as a unit. You know, like make, start maybe making her your girlfriend in these skits. Once you once you get ahead, or once you can't always have the like same girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you, it's, I, it's, I, like, it's like it's like it's like, 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 like a rapper. Ain't, ain't like, nobody want to see your girl. Yeah, right. like, it's, it's like a rapper like, having uh, the same girl in his same music. Like right. he having his own girl. It's like Ti having tiny video. I was doing that like. You know, I, we was coming late and we was arguing and shit. Right, I remember. You know what I'm saying? I never, huh? Bree? Hell no, nah, nah. The Ooh. first one. The first yes, one. with the little baby. Um, she had a daughter and stuff like that. I don't even remember her. Yeah, you didn't. You have. I met you the same time I met I met yeah, you. you was there. I don't know. I gotta see. Yeah. I think it's, I, I was putting it's it's the girl in the Twenty One Savage video. Okay, right. Like I was putting her, posting her all on Instagram. We was like the Bunny and Clyde thing. Like we was, I was letting everybody know we was a couple. It was making couple skits and shit like that. We was on, and then. Shit, it's turned in I, t- I couldn't shoot with other women And it was a problem Like I mean, I never shot with other women before I want to try it Like you know, <laughs> That, that sounds so wrong right. Right. I never but shot with other women before I want to fuck them What? No, I'm not trying to have sex with them But it's like they That's fit, what she heard They fit the story That's They fit the storyline And it wouldn't be them being my girlfriend or nothing Right It'd just be me like Fighting them or me Cause I want to I think you worded it wrong to her though Definitely I mean I think <laughs> she just If you it out like that You she, lost in the second you said she it She wasn't a, like grown enough To really hear it The way that it was said It was said like As clear as how it could be You can't be confused from it I wasn't being disrespectful It wasn't my intentions You shouldn't be offended If you are then I ain't saying you soft But you gotta look at yourself And kinda have some tough skin I think there's always two sides. I have both experiences. I had also a relationship, a very long relationship, where I was very blessed and everything I was doing was supported. Like whatever I wanted to do and however, how far like stupidly said I wanted to go was fine because our relationship had no mistrust on this part. He knew I was a loyal motherfucker. He knew no matter what happened, like I'm, I'm backing him up. Like he's my man. Like there's no question. If I spend my time my nights and every 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 second apart from everything else that I do with you, that should like prove you that, that I you heard that a lot. Man, you right. you that think you think that would work though? I'm just saying like you think that would. I'm I'm saying it's not normal anymore these days. But for yeah. me, these values still count, and mm. I proved myself so much in our relationship that I didn't have to worry about. It. I could walk around naked. He would know everything be fine because I only do things that I can support for myself. So I can say like, okay, this is fine for me as a woman in a relationship in this industry to do so. So things that I feel like wouldn't I su- want to support as a woman anyway, like wouldn't I want to do it when it goes too crazy or goes too nasty or whatever, I'm not going to do it anyway. So he knew like, you know, so I'm not saying everybody out there is not 
supporting someone else in the entertainment business. I think it's just hard for certain people because right. they have a different mindset. It's understanding, that's all. You know, like it's how you grew up or what is your surrounding or, or what is your experience before. Like mm -hmm. certain people have a problem, certain people don't. Certain people got like cheated on certain, like don't, like you know. Yeah. So I think like it can go either way. It's who you choose to be your partner because you know where you're working. So, so you gotta such, like you know. There's no such thing as somebody in your lane because everybody's a different person with different goals. Everybody, you just right. gotta work just it out. The person, yeah. Do you want to deal with it? You gotta deal with it. By you gotta find it. You gotta respect it. You gotta you know. Whatever. By in your lane, I meant like in the same like if That's you if I'm running track, you're running track. So we you mean like it will always be tough times. Still gonna be no matter what. You got celebrities that's in the same lane. They still divorce and Will and fucking Jada, bro. Yo, that was heartbreaking. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. What's I love? Never thought but that. we knew that already. But no, I mean, to be honest, not. as long as there's social media, you have a social media, you're not gonna really have a successful relationship. That's my take. That's you gotta really here. take a withdraw. You gotta withdraw from it because some people can't handle it. You're gonna have a problem with what you see. You you know what you experienced with this person, and then to see that same person, you just she just you know gave you you know she put you in your feelings, and then she going to do a video or going to strip or something, and you like damn. Like she doing that for him. She was just. I'm jealous. I don't now. know. I know a couple but, cats. I got great relationships. That's in this business, and you know what I'm saying they don't be tripping on that shit. It's but the, I know people that don't have great relationships that, yeah. that deal with with everything we all talking about up here. You know what I'm saying? Why okay. would you My even kid. be with someone that is like you always already feel like he's weak minded? Right. Right. Like something like social media is like throwing you off. It's like to me that's weak minded. I know right. you could be I surprised, bro. Though it, there's. That's a whole other conversation because there's like a lot of like checks so and balances mean, when it comes to social media. When it comes to that, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to get into that. You know what I'm saying? The whole social media thing when it comes to like what you're posting. But um, I want to ask this question to G Wang. All right. It's oh, about damn. the whole money thing, right? You've told me this. Mm -hmm. More money, more problems, right? Um, I can, I, I've known you from the brick house, you know, and I, I, when I have shot with you, when you do call me, um, I wonder, do you like like I I understand your stress. I see you're a little bit more stressful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I see you're a little more stressed. Like yeah. Now is that because like the movement that you got going, the momentum that you have? I have. I would say I have stressful moments. A lot of stressful moments now because it is. I didn't understand what more money, more problems could be. Or like nigga, you got money, nigga. Did that takes believe, away your problems. Did you believe that? Because I I I don't believe that. But I when didn't. I look at you, I didn't, and I see that I'm like, man, I didn't. You because it's different type of problems. It's you know, it's not. I'm not saying you know, oh, you more money, you got problems. It's, it's problems of, damn, I got this budget. I gotta cut this budget in half. Oh, fuck. Or damn, I got a deadline I gotta meet, and I ain't gonna meet it because Prince ain't show up. Fuck. I gotta write this whole script around this nigga. That type of stress. Man. It happens all the time, every day. I I, I got a deal for. LA Hood stories and it ain't gonna be on um, YouTube no more. So y'all y'all got it right here. After December, um, LA Hood stories ain't gonna be on YouTube no more. It's gonna be on a whole nother platform yeah, yeah, called crazy. Black Oak TV. And it's season three. I already shot it. I shot it on a red camera. It's gonna be like a movie effect. And that's what basically stressed me the hell out. I had to what the the season's finale, uh, the final dance or whatever it was. I had to create that that same day on the set because some people didn't show up. You know, it's just that. Right, I had to, I had a girl backed out. I had to find another girl to do it, and I was like, and it didn't, it didn't. Man, it was just wait. So you reshot the whole thing? Mm -mm. I shot season three. People didn't know what season three is about. Season three is is turning into like snowfall. Yeah, I know. From what I saw, <laughs> from what I did know, I did see. Uh, you we finna know. get into some gangster shit. Yeah, that's lit. Um, that's the motherfucking things. I but get. yeah, so. From others I know, I think people around you like Jahan or uh, Jai or whatever. From what I, when I do ever do see them, they don't look very stressed. You know why? Why? You gotta have a team. <laughs> now, no, no. To me, I think no. I I think you only are taking that as stress because this is new to you and you're getting used to it. But in, like you know, I think you're only a year in. You know what I'm saying? I think once you adjust to it, and like, oh, this is nothing. Right. It's nothing. I absolutely you know agree with you. You know what I'm saying? But now yep. it's like so new to you, bro. You have yep. a budget, bro. I know how, how to work it now. How many niggas can say they have a budget, bro? I can't fucking say that. I don't know a lot of <laughs> niggas that can. Well, it's not like a, a budget like that. It's just I had a budget 
for nigga, a soap production. Nigga, camera. Call it what it is, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fucking camera. Yeah. yeah. Well, you had, I mean, a, you had a fucking sound, man, G. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I learned that from uh, Jahan and Big John, them dudes. They got all that. I mean, you got to elevate. So when I look at them, I want to be there. Mm. You know, and in order to get there, I got to start moving how they move. And I watch them and I study them. And I'm learning it. And I'm like, I'm seeing it. But like you said, it's new to me. So it, it hit me a different way. Mm. And when it hit me, it almost sucked me up. I was like, oh, I'm trying to do too much. Everything. And I, I can't. I need an assistant, bro. I need... Uh, somebody to do certain things for me to make sure the roll call make sure these people are coming you know right. that type of stuff I didn't do that I just said I got this budget I want to keep all of it so let's uh let's get to work I'm only paying for this and that you know right. to keep it all the way alive you know what I'm saying you no. figure I can I don't need nobody I've been doing it myself this whole time right so what's so different now the difference is it's bigger it's a bigger production it's, and you have it's to elevate, yeah you know what I'm saying um and this is uh, I spoke to shout out to uh, Virgil. Um, I spoke to Virgil at a party, and he was like, "Bro, it's like who you surround yourself with." Absolutely, it's who you surround yourself with. And then you even told me, "He's like, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta have bigger people in your shit so other people can like recognize you." And like me, bro, I'm just like, "Nah, nigga, like." I don't need to have bigger people in my shit because I'm going to make these people that I believe is talented around me successful exactly. and we look good together. You know what I'm saying? But I've been doing that for me for the past fucking two years. Hey, shit ain't been hey check it out. Check it out. Hey, check it out. Who he, <laughs> hey, who he sound like? Who he sound like? Bro, that's... That that was that was me. Yeah, you was and me, I, and I understand because you know, low key, I'm gonna say it. Like that's how I felt about you with me. I felt like you didn't really like fuck with my shit. I felt like you didn't fuck with my acting. A lot of niggas, low key, and it just made me. It really like tests me in my mind. Like, damn, dude, like, what the fuck is wrong with me, dude? Oh, mm -hmm. maybe I'm too goofy. No, mm -hmm. maybe I'm not mm -hmm. like shoot. Maybe I don't shoot right. Like, I I take a lot of things, and I was like, no, fuck that. You don't have to worry about them. Do you? Because at the end of the day. You've seen so many niggas be successful without other niggas. I, Mila, I already said it, Mila. But yep. Mila was working with other people, though. She did dab in other people's stuff, but at the same time, she was doing her own She thing. kept going, doing her thing. She didn't care. You feel me? And that's, like, one of the things, and, like, you know, you know why don't you be feeling some, feeling some type of way that niggas don't hit you up about oh, certain yeah. things? You know what I'm saying? And I know I do. And it's like, bro, what's wrong? Shit, everybody I'm up glad. here felt some kind of way. I used to say the same shit until I said, man, I don't need nobody. I'm going to do it on my own. I created the brick house. You was there. He was there. You know what I'm saying? A couple other cats is there. And then at some point, you got to sit here and say, what's next? Right. So if me and you are the same, how the fuck am I change? Right. I had to say, okay, I had to get out of that circle. Not saying I don't fuck with these niggas no more, but let me see what these niggas talking about. Mm -hmm. Because I see these niggas elevating. Let me get in some of this game over here. Oh, y'all fuck with me? They let me in? And I soaked up the game. Right. And I can go back and tell y'all niggas, yo, this is what y'all niggas need to do. Boom, boom, boom. Because these niggas not going to tell you. Right. You know, the game, niggas would say, yo, you seem like, how'd you do it? Oh, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just work hard, nigga. You know, it pay off. Some people look at you from the Yeah. Thinking you're better than us because you're making money. Right. Right, man. You, you, right. Oh, I know, so you a bro, like, I remember what I was like, bro, oh, what? <laughs> Where'd you go, buddy? <laughs> like, it's crazy, y'all, and it's like, damn, I'm telling y'all, this nigga's an inspiration, y'all, because, like, for what, he outworks me, man, I'm younger than this nigga, bro, and that's, like, sad to me, I think he outworks a lot of us, damn near, you know, just doing what you do, you know what I'm saying? So I really commend you on doing what you do, because that's, what's up, man? I'm gonna I'm say this, I work so much, bro, I don't sleep, she'll tell you. She get mad because <laughs> I wake up and I start thinking shit and want to write shit down and record like, hey, remind myself to do a skit. <laughs> the grind don't stop. It'll kill, it'll kill your relationship. I get all type of shit Like I feel distant I don't feel like We should be together anymore And it's like Damn it's only been a week and I, I Only a week God damn No no this four years That's some bullshit 
Man, they be out of there quick. A week? <laughs> no, it's only been a week that I've been editing and or haven't been seeing that that person. Oh, okay, yeah, damn. And, and it's like already a big ass issue to where we gotta break up. Like to see. Right, help me find some music. Get them involved in that yeah, shit. I need I your help. So, okay, so I, I have a question because I, I feel like this. In order to be, do you think that you need a solid piece by your side to get to be there, like every strong man? You have to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You do, have to. You feel that either either that or you're gonna be single. Either that or you're gonna be single. Do you know any single people that's close that's up there that, that yep. have a side piece? A, a single like person, a side piece. piece? But I mean, like a pe- like their wife. You know, they're, nah. They're, 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 they're I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. Man, look. Tell me. Oh, you say he turned around? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What was the question? Um, do you feel like you need a solid piece? Like, like you need a strong. I mean, if we want to go biblical terms, the Bible says two eyes is better than one. So yeah, you would need that. But if you cannot find that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna search for it. I'm gonna still do me. And, and and be successful at doing me because that's all I know is me. Now, if somebody comes along and can help me push me to the next level where we can push each other, then it's cool. Hell yeah, nigga, I love that. You need that See, backbone. When I hear her saying, like, oh, sometimes I got to edit it, you know what I'm saying? Shit that I don't like. I'm like, no, man, I don't that's, help. oh, you don't. I help. You help, but see, the thing is, that right there, instead of you, like, that's what I really want someone to be like, do you like keep doing you like push me on? All right, I'll help you. I'll do this, even though you don't want to do it. Like help me, cause you know what the fuck I'm doing. But don't be like in my ear saying, "Nah, that ain't it." Right. You know yeah, yeah, saying? yeah. You know, yeah. Like, women have told me like my videos ain't going nowhere, or people don't fuck with my content, and I don't like hearing that shit. I'm a, That's I'm a, horrible. You know, no, it's very horrible. You know what? But you know what? Ten told me I was at shooting something with them, and he was like, "Bro, I don't, you know, I don't even care if like I get like." You know, one like or whatever. If someone comments on it, at least I made one person laugh. I got to someone, and like you know, cause dude, my shit ain't even hitting like it used to. Nobody shit hitting like that no more. It's my, it's crazy. Instagram, none of my none of my shit is not hitting like it used to, and that shit like gets to me. You know what I'm saying? It really does. Like, <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like what the what fuck? I what I say? To, what I say? I mean, but fuck Instagram. You don't give a fuck about you this shit. The people close to you, but, they know they know you so well that they just be like, oh, it's Prince. Let me just like that shit. I watch it. Later. But regardless, you know, but like, too. but what Tim told me, he's like, bro, if you make someone laugh, if I get a new person to comment on my shit, bro, that makes my day more than anything because I got someone new. You know what I'm saying? That I didn't know because most of the people that know me, they're just doing it because they know. Me. Yeah, you the homie. You the homie. You know what I'm saying? You know, half time we don't even look at each other. She be like, okay, let me tap tap a couple of emojis. So like. I take that in value. Like I don't really care about the likes or views anymore. Even though I do, because I want it, it'll be much, it's much more easier when you have the views. When you get the likes and the views, it's motivating. It makes you feel good. Like, oh, that was good. I'm, I can't wait to do another one. Right. Or it makes me edit faster because I gotta get this other one so they can see this. Right. When, I care about the comment comments. Like if, what somebody say about what I just worked hard to put out. I don't care about the views. If somebody say like, oh, that part was good. I know that part was like close to the end, and the minute was like a minute. I mean, the video was a minute thirty. That mean they watched the whole video. You know, it's like <laughs> so. I'm like, okay, <laughs> bad. Yeah, you <laughs> watch my shit. Like, okay. like, okay, so they marked. Okay, that happened. They watched that whole shit. So he just said, hey, I'm gonna tell you a trick, bro. I'm gonna tell you a trick. I'll be fast forwarding some shit, and I'll I'll do that. And act like I watched the whole video. I'm like, oh, this nigga said this shit at the end. That's crazy. I fucked him up. I fucked him up with it. I be thinking. I've done that to people shit too. And then watch, went back and watched the whole thing. Like, okay, That's now crazy. I see. Why would you even take the time? <laughs> You'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but no, that was a lit man. But shit, I guess we gonna close the show because it's been. Uh, Damn, it's over with already. We just got here. I mean, unless y'all got something else on y'all mind, you know what I'm saying? You got something to say to me? Yeah, we're good. I think we had like a very sensitive talk. Yeah, this one was Nobody real. call me after that, please. Man, you didn't ask me none of the questions you told me you was going to ask me, motherfucker. Well, I asked you everything. You was going to ask me like, uh, who filed your taxes? Do you want to work with Wesley Snipes? Like, you're talking about me? No, I'm talking no. about nobody. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not back. I, I mean, I don't care. You got anything to say, man? Me? Yeah. About backlash? Or I mean, what? anything you got on your mind that you want? Oh, I mean, shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah. About, um... I do want to get back into collaborating with G Wayne. If, if y'all don't know, I have I met G Wayne in 2017, and he helped me up with my little you know Instagram career, my little one. And then you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm Googleable, so I'm somebody know me. Google know me. Yeah, I, shit, I'm Googleable. I'm like shit. I'm important. 
I think I'm important. I feel important. So I used to collaborate with G Wayne a lot, and I want to get back to doing it and stuff like that. Yeah, I, you you know, so. hey, check this out. Check this out. Let me see that mic. <laughs> All right, now to uh, add on to that, yeah, he, he actually is like a day one. You know, he came to the brick house with a little fam bam for Christmas. I remember everything like that. I remember all that. He's like, this is my family. You know, he, Noel's actually a good dude, man. I'm not going to lie. He's a dude, real nigga You know, knows. I respect him because he's the only nigga to tell me that he got a problem. And he'll tell me what the fucking problem is. So now we address the fucking problem and then we move on from the problem. That's what I respect about Noble. And I got a surprise for Noble when he told me Noble was going to be here. So Noble said he want to get back in the skits, right? Well, tomorrow's your big day. Okay. One o'clock, brother. You get to play what you say you was a thug. <laughs> you shooting bikes in the backyards. Prince said oh, Prince. Well, well congratulate Prince because Prince was like, man. Noble, man, I'm telling you, I'm like, yeah, you right, all right, Noble could, could, I need a fight scene with Noble and shit, you know, nigga know I do backflips, Jackie Chan, black ass, this is what he is, the black Jackie Chan and shit, you know what I'm saying, so, so one o'clock, hey, if he don't show up, one o'clock tomorrow, at my spot, that's on him, y'all, out here in the valley, nine minutes away from him, oh, shit, look at him, go ahead, let me tell you, no, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is at work. Tomorrow, I was really hoping to stay at home. My wisdom teeth has been hurting me. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck that wisdom teeth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gonna deny me with some wisdom teeth? Bro. I take some medicine. Vader, <laughs> Vader, Vader. The opportunity is knocking. Come on. Yeah, Vader had hit me up for the Netflix thing that I was supposed to be a part of. Uh, I couldn't do it. My mouth, everything. I've been, I, I've been needing to be at home. Wait, what you can do this. Me, cause, cause he he needed me. I thought he needed me. I needed you tomorrow too. I said. Well, I I'll come there. Yeah. All right. I got medicine. I got ibuprofen, Tylenol. I got all of that. It's just I need. I you got gas money? Cause I need that. that. <laughs> hey, hey, I got ten on the tank. What's up? No, for real. That that's mainly what it is. The gas. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but it is my job too. Where you live at? in the same place, South Central. Oh. I used to live. Fuck it. I got you. Yeah. Really but I come in that one. Bet. That is. That's how we wrap the show. You hear me? So uh, we uh, I guess we did it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We did the damn thing today. This was actually a really good conversation today. I think it was all jokes aside, really. You know what I'm saying? We got some gems today. You know, G Wayne was talking this shit. You know what I'm saying? His girl came in. She chimed in and said, "No, look, this is what it is." No oh, shit. Okay. Y'all ain't gonna see me, but y'all gonna hear me. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> No, no, because think about what she was saying. She was peeping game on her perspective on like being right. a bottle and her nigga is like, you know. I said, damn, it was tripping. Yeah, bro, it was crazy, man. That was, a, that was some real shit today. But, man, I guess we're going to close hey. the show. Uh, we're going to strap it up. Um, strap it up. Strap it up. Strap it up. Hey, so. What's up, y'all? I actually know what, man. This is one of the best shows. I only been on two podcasts. This is one of the best ones I've been on, man. <laughs> I appreciate that, though, for real, man. Uh, Craig Smith. Shout out to Craig. Big head ass Craig. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. Stop acting like, bro. That nigga's funny, bro. One of the funniest man. I don't even gotta tell man. I don't even write for him. I let him go. Right, bro. Like, <laughs> Just go, man. Roses. That's it. Roses. Go. <laughs> like, yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> you little motherfucker. All right, yeah. But um, I'm G Dot Wayne TV. You can find me on all platforms: IG, um, Facebook, and YouTube. That's it. All right. What you got going on? What I got going on? Oh, um. Shoot, I also booked a little lead role for a movie that's coming out. I'm going to be filming next year. A lot of people don't know that, so that's a, another secret for y'all. Yeah, Boom. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. Uh, you can find me at Noble Ninja 89 um, I do got some skits coming up featuring Prince. Um, and me tomorrow? Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'll be there. Uh, and yeah. All right, you find me under N-E. Just see what's up, pulling me up. I'm down for collabing and shit. And just, you know, when you need a Swiss girl with the weirdest accent and the weirdest language, just call me what's up. And once we 
earrings in her damn cheeks. Du weißt was los, wenn du mit der Schweiz fickst. Das ist was up. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Y'all, it's been real. It's been real, man. It's a pleasure for y'all to be here today. Because Tim was supposed to come. But Who? Tim Willie was supposed Damn. to come. Damn. Damn. Tim Willie was supposed to come? No, he was supposed to come. What happened? Oh, no. This nigga said, oh, 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 oh sorry. He said he was going to come. He said he doesn't shoot on Sunday. But he was like, no, I'm going to come for you, big dog. And he was like, no, nah, uh, I, I checked with him yesterday. He was like, um, Tyree wanted me to shoot something. Oh, so, oh, he's shooting that. Um, he's shooting his thing, too. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I can't be mad at that. And yeah. I really want to get into that because, nigga, that's why I don't fuck with like, big niggas. Because, like, if there's another nigga that's bigger than you, dude, they're going to take, gonna take that. that. Hey, that's, you, know you know should have asked me one of those. That, that happened, to me. That's happened to me before. You feel me? But it is what it is. You know, I respect that. You know, it, it, it's a business at the end of the day. Right. You it's can't a business. Get mad. Like, yeah, because you don't take it personal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I can't get mad at that. You know what I'm saying? It's better that I have him separate by himself. You know, and talk to him and see what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's another more content for you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, everything works out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Y'all know me. Uh, this is episode 22. Uh, I got Life of a Side. I'm dropping a new episode. Sunday for Saturday. Um, I got some new shit I'm working on. Um, yeah. Hey, hold on. I got a question. How come I ain't in that episode? Actually, you know it's funny. Um, so the thing is, when I ever do hit you up, you know, watch this. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I do hit you up. <laughs> So you're not ready. You're never uh, available. So was I in the hospital? I'm probably no, in the hospital. No, when I did, no, when I did, <laughs> he put it on that. No, 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 no. Right. No, when I did hit you up for a skit one time, did you? Well, I, I hit you up for a skit one time and I told you and you didn't like it, so I was like, all right, whatever. You know? Oh, now you can't be mad at that. Okay. I like no, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't like it, you just keep sending the motherfucker. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> but no, I, I, me personally, I, I don't like. I, I know you're busy. You know what I'm saying? I was, this is very surprising getting you here today. Nigga, I, like hey, no, I, I fuck. Hey, you. what did I say when the nigga came? I said, nigga, I'm going to that shit because this nigga's the day one. He, every time I call him, he, he pop up. No, I appreciate, he pop up. I, I appreciate that. No, uh, you know that little boy came to the house? Yeah, you was there and crazy that little white kid came to the house. Yeah. I forgot. The bus through the door. That's another story. That's a, that's a crazy one. Um... <laughs> But uh, I do have a, a episode I wrote for uh, you, Tim, where like y'all my boys. I don't know if you've seen this shit, but I'll explain to you afterwards. But y'all, y'all already know me, man. This is uh, at Prince Phillips. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm glad y'all, if y'all are watching, please like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, love to live life. And, uh, yeah, it's been real. All right, bye. Keep working. Yeah.